Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a great opportunity to be here today to talk about the outlook of healthcare markets. And I'm, I want just shortly to introduce myself and uh, my firm. Roland Berger Strategy Consultants is uh, one of the big strategy consultancies, which is worldwide active. The only one of European origin, actually, which is not American. And um, <coughs> we're working all over the world and in pharma and healthcare which is relevant uh, today. We work like for all players in this, in this field. We work a lot for ministries. We did uh, things like, uh, well, studies on healthcare, on the healthcare market, uh, justly. The export strategy for Germany, uh, I will present later on in the, in the evening, in, in the morning, prevention strategies, um, chambers of commerce, like how to foster healthcare economy and so on. We work for hospitals, uh, questions which might interest uh, many of you as well, like how to direct foreign patients. Um, and for all other players in the market. Uh, so we have we try to combine the view and see how's the, the market developing altogether. Myself, I'm working in Berlin and I'm responsible for the practice which is called payers and politics, which is health insurance, health politics. And here uh, comes the secondary health market as well. We are talking and writing about that since uh, five or six years and uh, worked on the topic for uh, governments, for uh, consumer goods companies and for ICT companies. And um, <coughs> I will present you some ideas we have about this, like how we see the market, some numbers on the market, and then um, as you're more interested as well in the, in the neighboring markets, uh, Sweden, uh, Scandinavia and Russia, uh, Hans will uh, tell you something about that and then we have this short resume, like how do we assess the opportunities for Estonia in that market, and I hope uh, we have a lively discussion after. Okay, now everything starts with the new consciousness of health and the economic importance of the healthy lifestyle which is a phenomenon which is really worldwide, I think, and we see it around, around the world in many areas, like so five or ten years ago, like everything becomes healthy and we had a, a <coughs> bunch of new products uh, coming to the market. We have now healthy yogurt, at least the yogurt claims to be healthy. We have a health uh, TV, we have health tourism, we have, I like this example because it's from Switzerland, which is a country with, which has no access to the sea, but they organize a health cruise, so can, you can take a cruise through the Mediterranean and you have doctors of all kind and during this week you can have uh, consulting on, on your illnesses, you have health food of course, personal health records, various intense, not so successful so far, alternative medicine, health magazines, health clothing, everything becomes healthy, which is, which re reflects uh, a change in, in lifestyle and, and outlook on the market. And uh, just to compare this and to see how the, how the numbers are, we, we talk about the primary and the secondary healthcare market. The distinction is the, uh, the, the, the form of financing, like primary health market uh, would be the health market which is funded by the state or by contributions and so on, which is organized in a health insurance, like the classical thing the states take care of. And um, so you have a health insurance and then you have a secondary health care market where people uh, decide to spend out of their own pocket, their private consumption, say we want to spend something for health care. And if you just compare here the, the figures for Germany, annual growth rates, we have like 2.5% here. Um, and we have 5 to 6 percent here. It, it slowed down a bit after the crisis, but, but we had 6 percent before that every year. And for the size, <coughs> we have here a bit more than 200 billion euros uh, for Germany in, in year 60. So it's already a, f a third or a fourth of that market. And it's a, a different outlook as well because you would say like 30, 40 years ago, people would say, okay, healthcare is a, is a topic which is covered by the state. I don't have to care about it. And today it's something which is uh, your personal interest and you try to, you, you try to optimize it and you spend money on it as well. And <coughs> it, it, as I said, it really has to do with a different perspective of the consumers. Um, they become more and more interested in their health, which mainly means prevention, because the secondary healthcare market is almost all about prevention, uh, primary and tertiary prevention. Um, it's not so much treatment, no, it's mainly prevention. And like everyone is interested in prevention, wants to do something about it, uh, wants to know how to do it, uh, wants to spend money on, on diagnostics, etc. People spend more and more on their health, and that's what I said, like health gets into all aspects of life. Everything gets healthy, at least claims to do so. Huh? And I always said, so there may be many doctors here, I always say, we, we don't ask, this is like an, an economic point of view, we don't, we don't ask if it really makes the people healthy, but um, at least from the marketing side, many, claim, many, many things claim to be healthy now. Um, <coughs> food, travel, work, uh, it's not, not an issue only for private customers, it's an issue for companies as well. 
yeah, who want to stay, who want to want to offer a healthy workplace, a healthy work environment. We have that topic of um, aging workforce. Like uh, employers know that they will have to to employ people until 65, 67, 70 years, and they have to do something to maintain them healthy and and able to work. And the patients get better informed and they ask for individual <laughs> solutions. So it's health is not anymore something or just organized by the state and which you just take as it is. It's a, it is something that you as an individual organize yourself and um, which, which is under your buying decisions. <coughs>